This video is about how to remove mercury fillings in the safest way possible. In my clinic, I don't use any mercury amalgam at all, but in the past, mercury fillings, or mercury amalgam fillings as dentists normally call them, were placed because of their cost, their ease of placement, and the fact that they were quite strong and used to hold up over time quite well in the bite. People are becoming more aware of their health and what goes into their body. And in the same way, a lot of my patients are concerned with how mercury amalgam fillings are removed from their teeth. They want it to be done in a safe and eco-friendly manner. Without proper safeguards or precautions, you will inhale or ingest more mercury, vapor or effluent than you need to. So in my opinion, it's important that a dentist takes the removal of your mercury amalgam fillings as seriously as possible. There's a few key things that are important to reduce your exposure from this procedure as much as possible. The first one is isolation. We need to make sure that a rubber dam is placed around the tooth that has the mercury amalgam filling. This traps the majority of physical effluent that is released from the tooth and make sure that it's separated and not ingested by you during the procedure. We use high volume evacuation or HVE suction and this is standard for most dentists but it's used in conjunction with the isolation to make sure that we remove as much of that physical mercury from the site as possible. The process of drilling out the old mercury amalgam filling is important too. We need to cut it out in pieces as much as possible instead of grinding away the entire body of the previous mercury filling. The specific burrs and dental drills used are actually very important as well in the way that this procedure occurs. Perhaps the most important thing is the removal of the mercury vapor, which is produced during the drilling out of the old mercury amalgam filling. We do this using a special vacuum machine that's placed above your head during the procedure. This machine removes the vapor from the room and filters it to remove the mercury from the air. That means your risk of inhaling that mercury vapor is greatly reduced. Nasally delivered air is also available, but some patients find this hard to tolerate during the procedure. And what's important at an ecological level is capture collection and good management of mercury waste at the dental practice. So at the very least, I hope this video has helped you to have a few things to talk to your dentist about when you discuss with them safe removal of your mercury amalgam fillings. I'm Dr. Mario from Heal Dental Care. Make sure you give me all your questions, comments, and feedback. I'd love to answer anything you throw my way. I'll see you on the next video.